everyone. I just want to say thank you for all the subscribers that sent prayer to my brother. He is now feeling a bit better. Not 100% but it's okay. We uh, keep on praying. Okay, so new project today. The water bottle carrier. The fabric here I have cut two. Any any kind of fabric you want. This is 10 inches wide and 12 inches long. And I also cut in this for the uh, inside to keep the water. This for the cold the water. Okay, so uh, to keep it cold. But if you want to keep it warm, then you have to use the other type. In my description, I will share with you the two types. You can use the same technique, but you keep the warm or cold depend on what you add on. So I'm using this for the cold. So with the 12 inches, we're going to fold it in half under 12 inches, okay? And then I have the 8 inches place right here that all the way here with me. So I'm going to place on the side. You got to make sure that the end of the plate touching this. And then you curl this. Are you going to cut this out? Sunday, Saturday, Sunday will be our New Year day. The New Year day is on Saturday. And it go on and on. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to bring this back. This is the one that for the inside, I'm going to place it on. I usually pin right in the middle too. Okay. The first thing you need to do, you're going to go and sew very close to the side here about one eighth up and in very close to here go all around the outer side first go all around and then after that you do the quilting you're going to go on this way okay all the way all the way whatever way you want and then after that you go on the other way I sew all around the four on the side. I'm going to trim this. Much easier when after you done that and then you trim in this side right here. And quilt this out this way or you can draw with the pencil first or whatever you want to do draw on the side and then after that you quilt in this way all the way if you do quilting you know okay so everyone after I done quilting it's very easy it's super easy to do so that's why I don't show you just straight like back and forth back and forth and then go down this way okay if you want to you can draw first you put the ruler the first thing you do, you're going to fold it in half, get the center, okay, and then from there, you're going to place the ruler this way, draw the line, then you sew on it, and the next one, you're going to draw the line, get the ruler, draw the line, and sew 
you draw and then after that you sew okay like that so everything is even do the same thing and then after that get the santa from here and then go go down go down go down okay very simple that's why i don't show you all right let's put this away and let's make the handle so this is three inches wide and i folded it and 10 inches long you can go longer if you want and then i fold it in half and then the top in the center top in the center and then top down to the bottom you're going to sew the top line and the bottom line okay everyone so after i sew on the handle um i have this thing that i'm going to use just in case when i want to hook um, this on my backpack or something like that if you don't you just use this okay for this i want to instead of doing that like this i'm going to spread it this way like this okay but make sure that the two ends are even gonna fold this way mark the center eight here make sure it's relaxing like this okay just put it right there right in the center move it up a little bit okay just like that sew that in now everyone after I sew on the handle, you go on cutting it right there. I sew over and then I go back and forth, back and forth a few times. Even though you're going to sew more anyway, but that's how I am. It's a habit. Good habit, not bad one. The zipper. The zipper here, if you want to, you can check in my description. It's soft. It's better than... Oh my goodness, I don't know why. Um, then the one at the uh, Walmart one, the Walmart one is thicker. So you want to do something um, that you want is strong, then you can cut it. So I am going to cut out 32 inches, okay? 15. Okay. The longer, the better. And then you can, you know, reuse that. All right. So let me just... Um, Take this apart. You only use one side, and the other side you can save it for later. Last time we used something like that, and then I have a comment say, "What do you use with the other side?" I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta wait. <laughs> and then it comes with the um, the pull, the zipper pull. You only need one for that, so I'm gonna take one out. And uh, leave it here. Remind me to get it, okay? Center, I need something white. Alright, so this is the center. It's right here, okay? And then you're going to go around. And then you're going to do this. Just cut a little bit so when it go out around a curve you find I cut about close to a quarter of an inch don't cut too much because you're gonna look for me I'm gonna hide The center right there so we're going to bring the center over
I'm using that z zipper um, presser foot. This has helped me a lot when I sew with the zipper. So I'm going to put it on. Right here, you can take this out. Like this. Take this out. Okay, so this come out. You save this on the side, okay? Don't don't lose it. All right, and now I'm gonna take this out. Put it here. Bring this back in. And make sure I'm gonna place it right in there. And I'm going to put this back. That's remind me when my grandmother, father, he lived by himself, but on the wall he put the note. He say, "Everything wherever you take, put it back where you got it." Oh my God, I was dying. All right, I need the quarter so I can tie this. There you go. So simple. Everyone, after you sew on the zipper on the side like that, you're going to bring back the lining. You're going to make sure the right side touching the right side here. go and sew all around I would do the same the same side that um the same like this like uh, not go quite up and in like uh, one a up and in every one after I sew all around here you go going to inside out. to press the side so that can go down this is going to be the main side and this the other one will be the line the inside so i'm pressing this way okay so now i'm going to go and top stitch very close to this side all around
bring it in like this. So that's so cute. This is so cute. All right, I'm gonna go into the other side. Gonna hold this way. Hold, hold this here. And you go in style. inside out you're gonna make sure everything is go right into the center you have to make sure it's evenly like so And you go in to sew this together, okay? Let's sew this together. You can sew a quarter of an inch. You're gonna sew this line. After I sew, now I'm gonna go and trim this. Okay, so I have cut a piece of fabric that I'm going to use that to wrap this around. So after that, I have cut in seven inches of the fabric here and two and a half inches wide. I fold a quarter of an inch on each side and then fold it in half. The end here, I fold half an inch on each. Okay, and then I fold quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, and then after that, I fold it back in like this. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap this in here. If you have a bias tape that you already already make, you can use that. But I just want to use exact the same color of the lining. Okay, and go in here, wrap this up. Wrap the bottom of this. so nice and neat all right so you're going to sew closer here you're gonna all the way so i cut the square here um an inch and a quarter let me zoom it out a little bit So this line, and then on this side, you're going to do exactly the same. Sometimes I just cannot find the clip. Okay, on this side too. So we put a quarter up and in, and a quarter up and in. So that after you sew on the bottom of this, you're going to do the same thing. The wrap that you wrapped earlier on this one. And then you go on to fold exactly the same way. You're going to wrap this area that you've just cut and sew. You're going to sew this and then on this side, cut another one like that and then sew on this side. Everyone after I sew on this bottom, we're going to inside out or it's going to be the square on the bottom. Okay, so inside out to the right side. This for the cool water, water holder, okay? But if you want a hot one, then you have to change the inside. Isn't that so beautiful? It is so cute. Okay, and now you can pull the zipper up, put your water in here, and then you can carry this all around, okay? Very easy to do, right, everyone? So you can do that. The basic thing that I don't show you because 
it it's just so, so simple cute and easy to do everyone can do this it's super easy everyone stay safe take care. oh let me see the high of this water bottle so you have an idea go all the way to here on the top to the top here that way your water bottle stuff it's eight inches and a inch and a quarter okay and the y side is is big enough three and a half inch on the bottom it's so cute and then you can hold it like this easy to do i will be back for more easy to do project okay um, my second channel whenever i have time i will go up there and upload new video be safe everyone thank you so much for watching and i hope you make this cute little water bottle for yourself for your family your friend your kid whoever you want to give it to love you